Yes, I'm wearing my Angry Birds shirt again today. I just love it. That and um, I watched it, so whatever. Please excuse my hair. I don't know what in the world it's doing today. It's wanting to do whatever it wants. But yeah, this is a book review, and the book I'm going to, um, this is the book review, I'm sorry, I keep saying that. Anyway, the book review I'm going to review for you guys today is Mara by Richard Denny, and yeah, really awesome cover. Oh my gosh, I love the cover for this book. Totally, probably my favorite one yet. Um, now I'm, I'm going to read you guys the back of the book. And let's get started. <coughs> Mara, a high school dancer, begins to mentally unravel when she starts to hear a voice telling her what to do and who to kill. Okay, so just to start off with, this book was creepy. I have never read a book whose the, the, just the themes of the book were creepy. Not just the theme, but the setting, the writing, the characters. Everything was so strange, if you, know, if you, guys, if you guys know what I mean. Um... Yeah, this is my first ever kind of almost horror type book that I've ever read, and it was a it was I kind of don't know how I feel that I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it I I really just don't know it's one of those books that make you think a lot, um, but 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 the book follows um, a high school dancer named Mara, and she if she she eats and if she does eat she pukes. So she throws it up, so she is blemimic, if I have that word right. Um, and she's constantly calling, she's constantly putting herself down, or slut, bitch, tramp, etc., etc., etc. And I don't know if I like that part. Because to me, I think everybody's beautiful, so, yeah. Um, um, I gave this book a 4 out of 5. Um, and the only thing that I didn't like about it was I wished that... Um, uh, she wouldn't have, you know, Mara wouldn't have kept on putting herself down on and on and on and on and on. And another thing I didn't really like was she, it felt like she went around town slaughtering the town, just killing people, you know. And I'm like, there was like one part where, you know, she was talked, um, we, um, she's telling the audience about that she, um, like drowned her aunt because her aunt was, I guess, going to, call somebody to get her help because she, she was talking to herself more than what she, you know, should be, but to me, I mean, Richard, um, when you, when you said that you were depressed when you were writing this, you were not kidding. I mean, just in the first chapter, things were intense, and the, fir and, and the text along with the chapters look like this, and, and this book is only 52 pages, so it's a very short book. So for a book that is only 52 pages, there are, it, it's pretty intense stuff here. It is definitely a creepy book, but it's also morbid all at the same time. But I loved it. I've never read a book anything like this before. It was definitely out of the world that I was used to reading, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, I did like this. I liked how the dialogue went. The dialogue was really good. The plot was good. Um, I... And oh my gosh, Richard, he pulled he pulled an amazing one on this book. Um, he pulls off the book and puts a huge twist at the very end of the book that I never saw coming in this one. So I'm not going to say what it is. Um, I will only tell people if they have no desire to read it. Just send me a message and I will gladly uh, tell you. But oh my gosh, man. This one took the icing right off that morbid, creepy cake. It just took it right off, man. It was amazing. I've never read a book that was so awesome before. So, you know, it's such a short book, and it was, and it, and it was filled with so many emotions and so many fears and doubts and pain and lust. There's a sex scene in this book, so just FYI. F -F -Y -I, but. You rock, Richard. This was definitely worth an hour of my time. I read this in an hour, and I cannot stop reading this book. Um, I actually stopped one time to, um, to, to, to get a glass of water, but other than that, amazing book. Four stars. Definitely worth the read, and definitely a really good book for Halloween. Like, like, like if you guys can read a book really fast, definitely read this. I'm definitely going to be reading this on Halloween. 
Um, so yeah, really awesome book and amazing cover. So that's what the cover looks like. The back, the side, and then I'll go ahead and show you the text. Mm. Text looks like that. So yeah, guys, highly I highly recommend you guys read this. It's a great scary, creepy book for Halloween and stuff like that. So I highly recommend you guys go get this. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. And um, yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed because I loved it. All right, bye.